I think as a producer, you always get drawn to to vocalists just because it's it's the first point of reference for any any listener, really. Especially people who are not musicians themselves, they get drawn to how how a singer delivers a song and the emotional connection they have with that singer. So. I'm always looking for great singers to work with, and you get a chance to work with someone like Bex, who has a fantastic voice. And th the moment I heard some uh, some demos on the internet, it was like, well, that that would interest me. I think there's there's a common ground we could find that would that would work really well. And so you're always looking for that connection. Because of Greg's experience in working with Melanie C, it wasn't too far off of what we wanted to achieve with, with Bex, thinking that he could get that great band sound. Um, and sort of embellish it to, to create a great pop song. Over the last couple of days, I've got to know Bex a little bit. I think she's, she's got some great ideas, but she's slightly annoying because she only does one take and it is extremely disturbing for a professional session musician to have someone doing that all the time. I think her strengths are her voice and also she's got some great ideas. Like we sort of had to routine a few of the tracks and um, I think we're going to be very pleased with the results and I'm really looking forward to hearing So I was contacted recently by Greg Haver uh, about a project he was working on with Bex and he, he forwarded me three demo tracks which sounded great already and um, and basically I'm tracking guitars um, uh, and, and working with Bex and, and, and Greg. Yeah, I was really excited how, how it's going to turn out. I know I know strings have, have been added to the track uh, while I've been away last night, so that's going to be exciting to, to hear back. But um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's all sounding great. What's difficult, I suppose, for me as an arranger is to try and interpret what they want out of the song, because all you've got is a vocal, piano, so I have to sit down and sort of use gut instinct to come up with, with lines and um, things to make the song grow and sort of build. Uh, and I think they were happy. Yeah, there was a lot of smiles, so um, I was happy anyway, so I did great on the playback. And also I, I like to hear the playback because I have to work with uh, a computer program which just plays back with synthesized strings, which is just quite harrowing at times. And then to hear it live is, is amazing, and especially with one of the best cellists in the area. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. It's all right. Cheers, man. <laughs> no, it did sound. It was great. Cool. It's been quite cool having her come in and have uh, the Lord on keys, have Annie on guitars. We had Greg playing the drums. So working with Bex has been quite cool because it's been quite an easy session overall. And um, I think the songs are standing up for that as well. It's going to be great. So it's been really cool to have three really cool tracks, quite diverse tracks, and um, Bex has been amazing actually. Um, anything we've thrown at her, um, whether it's singing a bunch of backing vocals or um, you know doing great vocal takes, she's been really good. Um, so it's been it's been a real pleasure, and um, you know I really hope we can do some more stuff in the future actually. It's always great when you go in and you listen to the final mixes and it surpasses what you hoped it would be because you always set your expectations quite high. But when it surpasses that, it's always a really exciting experience and it's what you kind of live for as a musician and as a producer, really. That moment where you think that's even better than I thought it could possibly be, which is kind of weird. It's the point we're at this week. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy. I think I'll sleep well over the weekend. <laughs>